Hello and welcome to the deep learning tutorial. Deep learning is a set of algorithms that attempts to model high level abstraction in data by using deep graph with multiple processing layers composed of uh, multiple linear and non-linear transformations. Various types of deep learning architectures are available. For example, deep neural network, convolutional deep neural networks, deep leaf network and recurrent neural networks. Actually, the neural network having more than three layers including input layer, output layers and hidden layers generally qualifies for deep learning. So deep learning strictly defined technical terms which means that uh, more than one hidden. In this tutorial I will capture the deep neural network and uh, with example I will show that how we can train a deep neural network with up to two hidden layers that can be generalized uh, to for multiple hidden layers and how the after training the deep neural network work or it gives the result on the test data now let us start with the network structure of a deep neural network here we have taken a very simple structure which starts with the input layer contains first hidden layer second hidden layer and output layer now suppose we have input variables x1 associated with the node i1 of the input layer input variable x2 associated with node i2 of the input variable is input variable 3 associated with node i3 of the input variable sorry node uh, i3 of the input layer and uh, we have hidden layer where node h1 is associated with uh, all three input layers i1, i2 and i3 node h2, node h3, node h4 so these are the nodes of the hidden, first hidden layer similarly these are the nodes of the second hidden layer and this is the output layer now to represent how the network functions we have take a simple network part like this and represent it here now this network can be divided into these parts these are the input variables these are the weights this is net association function and this is activation function and this is the output now for each of the node the functioning can be divided into two part the first part is net association function and the second part is activation function and this is the output so now understand what is the net association function the net association functions generally handles all the input and we use some functions like uh, summation functions and function or max or average with the net association function for example, in this case, our net association function, we have taken a summation function and this will work like that. In this case, it will work like the summation will be like uh, W1 I1 plus W2 I2 plus W3 I3. So this will be the summation functions work in this case now let us represent it as a z now how activation function work so after this net association function the output z will pass through the association function func activation function we generally use uh, hyperbolic 10 function 10 h or sigmoid function
एच एक्टिवेशन फंक्शन एक्चुअली सिग्मोइड फंक्शन इज हाईली पॉपुलर सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ सिग्मोइड फंक्शन सिग्मोइड फंक्शन इज ऑफन यूज इन आर्टिफिशियल न्यूरल नेटवर्क टू इंट्रोड्यूस द नॉन लिनियरिटी इन द मॉडल एंड इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज actually sigmoid functions generally introduce uh, non linearity in the network and uh, without non linearity or without a non linear activation function the net uh, can only learn a function which are linear in combination of its input and the reason for the popularity of uh, this sigmoid function is its uh, simple derivation which can be is equal to this is like that the sigmoid function gives value in the range of 0 to 1 for a smaller or highly negative value its output will be 0 and for positive and uh, higher values its uh, outcome will be 1 now the next uh, function which can be used uh, as activation function is 10h but it is not popular as sigmoid function and uh, 10h functions value ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 for all negative values or smaller values its output will ranges towards minus 1 and for all higher values and positive values its uh, value ranges towards plus 1 the relations between this hyperbolic uh, ten function and uh, sigmoid function is we can say that the tenage function it simply a shifted version of sigmoid functions for example in this case the tenage function will be so this is the relations between a sigmoid function and hyperbolic tangent function and generally sigmoid functions is symmetric towards zero which is not the case with uh, sigmoid functions and now the next part is after passing the activation function when we pass this value z to this sigmoid function it will give the value in a range of 0 to 1 so suppose it will be like z dash now this z dash will be the outcome of uh, node h1 and it will pass through all other nodes of the second layer like here other important thing is we can put different number of nodes in the hidden layer and input layers it uh, the number of nodes in those layers depends upon the algorithmic requirements and number of hidden layer also represents our algorithmic requirements in the next section we will see how we can apply supervised training algorithm to train such kind of deep neural network